The imperfection has definitely ruined its pattern and destroyed its beauty. I have to fix it. Aesthetics sink into our soul and then into our lives. Let's listen first, Sheria. See now? What is Mahia saying? I ripped out a part of the carpet. I was fixing it when Mahia Teza came back. There. He has admitted to doing it himself. That carpet was left to me by my mother. I want it replaced with the same one. Mahia? How are we going to find the same carpet for you? I don't know. If you can't find the exact same one, you'll pay me for mine. All right, Mahia. As soon as I get my salary, we'll pay you for your carpet. You don't have to worry. You won't receive your salary for a while, Abdullah Effendi. I don't know how I'll make it without a carpet. Until that time. <sighs> we won't get peace as long as Sina acts like this. The pattern was ruining the design and he was fixing it, huh? Look at nature, Father. Allah created everything with a certain pattern. Even the stripes on bees have a pattern. What are you saying, brother? Do you think the bees that Allah created is equal to a carpet made by a man? Everything in nature is for mankind. Not a carpet. That's Mahiatezas. Son, what does a carpet have to do with nature and bees? Allah is the greatest artist ever. Sani, which means skilled creator, and Jamil, which means beauty. Are they not a few of the names for Allah? An attribute of being one of the creations of Allah is showing an interest and placing importance in aesthetics. Mankind has a capacity for beauty. Anything that disturbs order will cover up beauty. That black thread ruined the design of that carpet. <laughs> 